OK. So ladies and gentlemen, what we want to do for this problem is we want to figure out, I'm actually going to use red here, t equals negative 5 pi over 6. And the question asks us to evaluate all six trig functions. All right. The first thing we need to do is we have to graph this. You have to understand where this is. Remember, we have when we're looking at a, a graph, right? We always start here, our initial side. Always, this direction's negative. This direction's positive. Since I'm going negative, I'm going to go in this direction, right? However, my denominator is six. So halfway around a circle is pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into six different sections. That's broken up into thirds. That's now broken up into six. Everybody follow me? OK. So I want to figure out what negative 5 pi over 6 is. So that's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Meaning my angle looks just like that, right? OK. So now. That's not what the question is asking, though. The question is not saying sketch the angle. Sketch the angle. Yes, it does. Now, the, f the full problem. The first part is to sketch the angle. The next part is to find the point on the unit circle that corresponds to this angle. So the next thing is I have my unit circle. And when they're talking about find that point, that's a horrible unit circle. But what we want to figure out is what is this point? So we look at our unit circle, and we say, what does this point correspond to? Well, here's, an, here's one way to look at it. You can look at what we call the reference angle. What, if this is 5 pi over 6, what is this distance? It's just going to be pi over 6, right? So that means it corresponds to the angle, which is the first one, which is pi over 6. And that coordinate point in the first quadrant, you guys were going to have worked on, which is square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. So therefore, this point is going to be a reflection, Jacob, over the y and the x-axis. So this coordinate point is negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. Everybody follow me. Now, you guys, everybody in this class wanted to draw the triangle, which is awesome. There's nothing wrong with that. Here's going to be your angle. Here is your x, which is negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. I don't know why I keep on forgetting that. So now you need to do sine, cosine, and tangent. So ladies and gentlemen, though, I'll remember, if you guys remember, when I did sine of an angle t, and this time we're doing sine of my angle is not t, it's negative 5 pi over 6. Well, sine of negative 5 pi over 6 is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Or if you guys remember, what did I say sine always represented on the unit circle? The y coordinate. What's my y coordinate of this? Negative one. Xy. So it's negative 1 half. So you guys can do negative 1 half over 1 if you want to write it. But in reality, when dealing with the unit circle, your sine just relates to your y coordinate. It relates to your y coordinate over your hypotenuse, but your hypotenuse is 1. So why do you need to keep on writing that? Then your cosine of negative 5 pi over 6 equals square root or negative square root of 3 over 2. And your tangent is gonna, of negative 5 pi over 6 relates to your opposite over your adjacent. You guys need to pay attention for this. Jonathan, really important. So therefore, that means I have opposite over adjacent, negative 1 half divided by negative square root of 3 over 2. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen, because a lot of you are going to get stuck here. So now I'm dividing by 2 on the top and bottom, right? So therefore, I can now do negative 1 over, well, this becomes negatives divide out. So I have 1 divided by the square root of 3. Can I divide by the square root of 3? So you have to rationalize the denominator. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to be the best at rationalizing the denominator after we're done with this course. Square root of 3 over 3. I didn't say we're done yet, so hold on, because you guys are going to want to write these down. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please write these down so you guys have them. You guys, please write them down. It's going to take me two seconds. Hold on. Just write them down. What is sine? I'm sorry. Remember cosecant is the reciprocal, right? So that equals negative 2. Guys, I need you to write this down. 
the sine cosecant is a reciprocal. The reciprocal of negative 1 half is negative 2. Secant is a reciprocal of cosine, which is going to equal 2 over radical 3. You cannot do that. Rationalize the denominator. So you have 2 radical 3 over 3, negative. And cotangent is a reciprocal of that, which is just going to equal the square root of 3 when you go ahead and multiply it out. Okay? So you guys can go and figure out that math when you want to. There's the rest of it.